Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to this channel, Monica Jaga. Thank you very much for tuning in and uh, thank you very much for joining this sharing and caring channel. I'm here to motivate you and this channel you're gonna see all my hair journey uh, about a relaxed hair journey. I also here to, to give you some DIYs and motivate you. I'm in fact your best friend. So thank you very much for this part. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for giving thumbs up of this video. I really appreciate that. And yes, let's do this. Today we're gonna talk about uh, my experience as an au pair in Paris. So for today's uh, video, we're gonna talk about my experience as an au pair in Paris. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna uh, take this uh, step by step. We're gonna see the first thing is what is an au pair. Okay, so what's an au pair? If you don't know, it's uh, an au pair is uh, whereby it's a program whereby you go to a different or uh, country whereby you don't speak their language to learn their language and their culture. Yeah, that's what I did uh, when I was young. Yeah, <laughs> those are 10 years ago, almost 15 years ago. Uh, to be clear. So yeah, au pair, you have to be under 30, okay? You have to be under 30 to, to have that program, to use that program as an au pair. You have to go to a different uh, uh, country with a different culture so that you can learn their culture. So yeah, we say that, uh, yeah, you have to be mature enough, 30, under 30, you have to be under 30, otherwise you won't, they won't accept you as an au pair, yeah? Because that is learning the language, okay? So they maybe they think that you have to be young to learn, but anyway, that's the way it is. You have to be under 30 to get to, to this program of au pair, yeah? So that's what I did. So yeah, that's number one. Or number two is being mature enough. You have to be mature enough because, you know, most of the time, when you are you are entered into the program to the au pair program you are maybe just out uh you finished your high school and you did a little a, a little bit of college so yeah you're still young but you have to be mature enough so that because you, you know you're au pair you're taking care of kids you're gonna get a host family whereby you're gonna be taking care of their kids uh as they go to work and you you're gonna you're gonna go to school in between when the kids go to school you too you're gonna go to the to school to learn the language okay so that's the program so yeah that's what i was saying that you have to be mature enough to be by yourself you won't come with your family so yeah you have to be mature enough to be by yourself in a different country with a different culture yeah that's uh have to be uh your point yeah be mature enough and uh you have to have a good conduct yeah so that's the, th the third thing. You have to have a child care experience. You have to have a child care experience because, yeah, you're taking care of kids. Yeah, You have to be responsible of those kids when their parents won't be there. Yeah. So, yeah, it means that in the morning you're going to take them to school. And uh, sometimes they tell you to drive the, the kids to school. So make sure that you have your driving license. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. Yeah, make sure that you come with your driving license. And yeah, you know how to drive anyway. I know back in Kenya, you know, sometimes you take those uh, lessons with a big rally and where, whereby you're not uh, very good in driving. Make sure that you go, you're you good in driving, yeah? Because you can get a family who is asking you to drive their kids to school. That's the, some, uh, the first thing that you're going to do in the morning. Most families also ask you in the morning to wake the kids up and to prepare them uh, to go to school. So that's another thing, how to be... Uh, capable of doing that and uh yeah if you yeah if you know how to drive yeah that's a good uh, it's a plus yeah it's not you're not a must to know how to drive because most every family doesn't need someone who can drive but it's a plus yeah i'm just telling you it's a plus i didn't come with my driving license but i, I did get it after yeah so yeah it's a plus make sure that you come with a driving license and um make uh get some details yeah some now uh i'm gonna show you uh some some agencies i'm gonna tell you some agencies that you can uh apply your au pair programs my my i came with an agency which used to be in paris but now it's, there's no more but now you can go to a uh, website uh, uh check the uh, an au pair called they are called uh great au pair dot com okay great au pair dot com or and opairworld.com opairworld.com also that it's another uh, agency it's a, in the internet whereby you can check 
and get enrolled to the program yeah so make sure that you check that i'll light i'll light the the two sites whereby you can get your program just near this video somewhere and uh yeah so that you can uh, you can check that yeah it will be very helpful because uh uh yeah if you have somewhere to, to connect with the families yeah that's where you're gonna connect with the family and make sure that uh when you finish yeah if you finish your high you have to have your high school uh certificate and you have to have your good conduct certificate yeah good conduct certificate to get it from the police station in your in your area so that you have to have a good conduct certificate and you have to have your uh, form 4 certificate yeah that's number two and also you have to learn a little bit of the language before you go out from that country because it's very hard yeah so make sure that uh if you want to join the opera program make sure that you enroll yourself for some time in uh, learning the language you want to go to germany if you want to go to france if you want to go to any other country make sure that you learn a little bit of those uh languages because otherwise when you're going to the visa press they're gonna ask you some few words in uh, in the language okay uh, example in france when you come to france in a french embassy in nairobi you're gonna they're gonna ask you some um some questions in uh, maybe to present yourself in uh, in French yeah so you have to learn a little bit of the language yeah make sure that you put effort to learn quick yeah because you can learn within uh, four to six months yeah you can learn the, like, the language the, the basic yeah the basic how to, to, uh, to present yourself how to ask a motor or how to ask your directions yeah those are important it's very important to have that uh, for yourself okay so that that uh, that's what the necessary the necessary things that you you need yeah so and also you have to do your search yeah you have to do some search about that country the about uh, yeah about the opias you know because it's good to have knowledge yeah it's good to have knowledge uh, instead of uh, just get be surprised okay because some uh, some uh, some families you get they uh, they want you to be mature enough to take care of, of uh, everything yeah from uh, point one point two and point three everything for those kids yeah make sure that you you get, get your search yeah and make sure that you when you when you're doing you are enrolling to the opera program make sure that you have some pictures you with the family you with the kids your experience uh give the details yeah give some details about you how 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 good you are with kids how how caring you are with kids and how loving you are with kids yeah? that's very important for the family yeah the host family so uh, the host family which gonna receive you will be have confidence with you okay so make sure that you get your search you do your search and uh, yeah you light you light about yourself detail about yourself about your experience with kids and how how you, what you can do what you can give to the family yeah yeah give value put value to that uh, it's like a motivation letter yeah put value to that motivation letter and yes the family will be happy and uh, to choose you as you know because there are many people who are asking for this program so yeah make sure that you give value when you're lighting your motivation yeah and your motivation letter Now I'm going to talk about the typical day of an au pair. A typical day of an au pair is that you op uh, you wake up in the morning around 7, yeah? And some parents or some families ask you to yeah to take care of the kids uh, so after they wake up you have to wear them up you have to prepare them uh, to go to school so yeah that's the program you have to prepare the kids to school uh, take with them the breakfast you take your breakfast with them and then uh, when it's time you drive them or you you walk to, with them to school you take them to school as uh, around 8 30 9 so yeah you take them to school and then you you're gonna go to your your classes yeah to a lessons classes if you're in france you're gonna go learn the french uh french uh french la language in the in a school where you enroll yourself and uh yeah so that that's a typical thing yeah when you you take the kids to school and then you you go to school for two hours every day two hours except wednesdays yeah in wednesday most of the most of the uh, schools in france 
uh, they are closed, so you, are, you have to take care of the kids the whole day <laughs> from, uh, from morning to the evening. So yeah, that's the only thing that uh, is a plus uh, for, the, for, the, for the day, uh, for the week, yeah? So from Monday to fr uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, you take the kid to school and then you go, uh, you go to school. After you come to school, some host family, they, they can pre propose you to do some cleaning and that's an extra money. Yeah? If you don't want to do cleaning, you just say, I don't want to do some cleaning. But if you want some extra money, some most of the families ask you to do some cleaning. But anyway, you have to do some uh, cleaning of the kids' clothes. You have to uh, keep their room tidy. Okay, you have to arrange their games and all this, you know. You're gonna see you know, when you come to a host family, the other kids have a lot of games, yeah? so have to arrange them a little bit and uh, keep the room tidy, yeah. So that the thing, and then so when you finish uh, your, your la la lessons two hours per day, you just you're free, yeah, for the from one to, to four, and then for, for 30, you're gonna go get the kids uh, from school, and then you stay with them home, you, ha you have to supervise some homeworks. And yeah, pray with them, occupy them until the parents come, allowed eight. Most parents, they're going to ask you to, to make the dinner for the kids. Not every family, but most of the family ask you to make the dinner for the, for the kids. So yeah, you're going to eat with the kids, allowed seven, seven thirty. And then maybe most of the family comes, the host family, the parents comes allowed eight. So after eight, you are free. You can go to your room, you can uh, stay with them. You are, you are free to do what you want after after your five hours, you have to work. When you're up here, you work uh, five hours a day. That is 25 hours per week, okay? And uh, yeah, that's the, the, the typical day of an au pair. And what you're going to get paid, you're going to get paid 400 euros. Uh, 400 euros just to take care of the kids. And they're going to provide your, your room. If, if, if they have a, a studio and uh, a studio flat they're gonna give you that or even they're gonna give you maybe they're gonna give you a room in their in their in their in their house yeah so yeah that that what they're gonna provide they're gonna provide food and they're gonna provide uh, the transport for you to go to school and to yeah to to roam aloud uh, the town yeah they're gonna provide lunch too so yeah you have 400 euros um, the, the that's a maximum the maximum you can have as an au pair but you know you can get generous family that's gonna ask you to do some um, cleaning and uh, get an, an extra maybe a hundred or two hundred euros more yeah so yeah that's depend on the family and it depend on you if you want to do extra extra cleaning work yeah that's the thing and uh, yeah so yeah you're gonna have the, the your salary uh, they call it pocket money yeah they call it pocket money they're gonna pay for your for your transport they're gonna pay for your food and your accord accommodation yeah that's the thing and uh with the 400 uh you're gonna pay for your school the, the language yeah for your learning learning your language uh, sometimes it's 100 euro per month so yeah you are, you have gonna be left with 300 euros so make sure that you you know how to budget your money when you when you get the opia program because it's not easy yeah it's not easy because most of the most when you come to your parents and your, your your people back home they need some money you know they need some help from you so make sure that you budget your money and uh, be careful with uh, with what you're buying because you're gonna go to Europe and you get a lot of shops and you maybe want to shop every time but make sure that you budget your money yeah it's only 400 euros and you and that 400 euros you have to pay for your lessons uh, for the language lessons so make sure that you are mature enough to to have your budget yeah so yeah I'm gonna end this video here but i'm gonna have the part two of this video i'm gonna uh, show you my experience my experience as an opera what i did when i came here and uh, yeah you're gonna see it's different yeah it's different experiences from different people yeah but i'm gonna give you my experience in the part two of this video so thank you very much for checking uh this video thank you very much if you need any question if you have any question please comment the comment bar below. I'm gonna be happy to help you and to assist you to achieve your experience, your opera experience, yeah? And if you want to tell a, f a friend, please make sure that you you share this, uh, this, uh, this video. And uh, yes, let's do this. Thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye.